Another breaking now at 6, a Mount Healthy school received a false active shooter threat. Now that threat is under investigation. Yeah, the first report of an active shooter came just before noon today, but investigators quickly found there was no real threat. Mike Shell has been on this story all afternoon, but at the scene, Mike, what information can you tell us right now? Yeah, Jessica, Mount Healthy Police uh, tell me they are going through their call logs to try to pin down where it came from. A fake call was made to Mount Healthy High School behind me, and then what police are calling a copycat one to a preparatory school nearby. With their rifles drawn, a team of officers from multiple departments entered the Mount Healthy Preparatory and Fitness Academy and made a tactical sweep of the building. We can say with certain confidence, though, that there was no injuries, there was no threat in the building, but uh, for precautionary measures, the building was checked and secured and free of threats. About a half an hour before the call to the prep school, police say an adult male with a heavy Middle Eastern accent called in a threat to Mount Healthy High School. White male wearing gray shirt, blue hand, armed with handgun. When I was teaching in the classroom, he took up a gun and shot another student in the classroom. The commotion caused some parents to rush to the campus. You don't send your kids to school, you know, to have to deal with this type of stuff. And there's so much traffic, I couldn't get here fast enough. Like, my nerves is just all over the place. Anxiety. <laughs> I was panicking. My daughter's in there, so I got to be here. What goes through a grandmother's mind when you hear something like that? Scared. My heart beating fast, and it's just, it's not a good feeling at all. The initial call came into the Mount Healthy Police Department at 1139. The acting police chief says they pretty much knew early on that this was not a legitimate threat. The call came in to room 55. Room 55 does not exist in either the junior high section or the senior high section of the building. So once the units got there, they did a systematic search with multiple teams on the first, second, and third floor of both the buildings. And we had the all clear by 12.02. Playing pranks on people not cool because y'all got everybody, peoples up here ready to People up here crying, don't know what's going on. People just confused. Everybody confused. That ain't cool. This isn't going to happen right this second, but our plan is to have parents and family members go over to the back side of the school. The parents were eventually given directions to where they could pick up their kids. We were just trying to get some accurate information on, on the staging. We, we started at Hilltop to get parents away from the building. As soon as the search was cleared, um, they were able to come over to the building and parents could transport their kids home. Now Bryce Bratton says that uh, classes will resume tomorrow as scheduled here at Mount Healthy High School. He advises uh, parents to keep an eye on the district's website for any updates. Reporting live from Mount Healthy, Mike Shell, Fox 19 Now.